Hi, this is Jeffrey Smith from SEO Design Solutions. Today I'm going to show you three brief keyword research techniques that you can utilize. Um, this will help you in finding out what the conversation in a particular market or industry is and it will also provide you with the ability to target less competitive phrases and devour a market or niche as a result of the co-occurrence of those various keywords. And so there's a big difference between ranking in the first page of a particular search phrase or ranking on the second page or beyond and even the location that you're at on the first page is a major difference in ranking in the number seven position versus the number two. So a lot of that often is uh, targeting the wrong keywords. So we're going to show you just a quick technique. There's actually three. The first one we're going to show you is the wildcard search, uh, related search, and stemmed keyword clusters we're going to look at. And we're also going to look at the wonder wheel. So say, for example, if we just proceed back to a Google search, whenever you have a phrase, um, for example, I'll just use the word paid conversions. It doesn't really mean anything, but if I wanted to find out if there are any other phrases that were relevant within that conversation, I would just add a, an asterisk in between that and any other phrase that would appear in between the word paid and conversions uh, would actually appear so you can sort of find out what the conversation is. Um, if I just wanted to use, for example, asterisk and conversions, I'm going to see other phrases that have potential online conversion, mass conversions, uh, so on and so forth, clock conversions, link conversions. But that's one way that you can create uh, or find topical ideas based on a theme and this once again this is the wildcard search. The next uh, version or variation we're going to look at is I have just uh, if I just proceed to a Google search and I type in the word paid conversions again you can look under the show options tab on the left side of the screen and what that allows you to do is you have a variety of other ways that you can extract the data. So if I use the related search variation, what this does is it also shows me, based on the different modifiers and uh, qualifiers that people are using, the conversation that's occurring within the context of these two keywords. And so paid conversion rates, paid conversions, organic search, for example. Um, you can also look at how competitive a keyword is. So if you have an extremely competitive phrase, if you just place that in quotes, this is not a competitive phrase. It's 3,830 competing pages. But say the word conversion, obviously, is something that you wanted to rank for. This has 18 million competing pages. And you could also look at you know what other phrases are active within that uh, the conversation or context once again. But this is an, a method that you can utilize uh, to occupy the various phrases that, that do have something to do with that as well as you can look at the the most recent blog posts you can look within the 20 uh, past 24 hours the past week or year specify your date range and so that's another great method over here I've done the same thing but in this case I'm going to uh, if I just were to go back to the web starting from a generic search just by hiding my options so this is what most people see you would once again show your options and then check out the wonder wheel this also does provide another way that you can sort of see where your your keyword appears in the context of the conversation online and then allows you to zero in on, on various phrases once again for uh, ideas that are search engine proven synonyms that are defined by Google as having some relationship. Um, another tactic if you wanted to use that is just to show the relationship between uh, any one of those phrases you could find for example another alternative for the word paid you know I could see earn this is an example of just one uh, very simple technique it's not it's it's not LSI but what it is is it's just saying that there is a an understanding between the variations in words and so if you're looking for alternative phrases for example if I were to use the word pet that all you can also see the word dog cat and all these other phrases that that pop up that are related to that phrase as, as a correlation of the synonyms so uh, once again, to go back over the tactic, you can use the wildcard to fill in the blanks. You can use related search over here on the left sidebar to uh, view anything that is related to the keywords. And obviously, the more phrases you use, the more variation you're going to get. Or you can use the third variation, which is once again the wonder wheel, which is just indicating uh, what the conversation is online about that topic. All right. Hope this has helped. My name is Jeffrey Smith from SEO Design Solutions. Thank you very much.